All right, so in this video, you're going to learn about the standard form of a parabola and how to graph it. So the standard form of a parabola we know is ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is going to change the parent function. So if a is positive, we're going to have a graph that goes up. And if a is negative, we are going to have a graph that goes down. Um, and C is going to be the y-intercept. So the number at the end is going to be the y-intercept. Okay. Next thing is to find the vertex. So to find the vertex when your equation is standard form, first you have to use the equation x equals negative b over 2a. Okay, in order to find the x value, um, which is going to be the axis of symmetry. Um, then you're going to have to substitute that value into the original equation to find the y. So then you can have an x comma y. So this is all to find the vertex. So the vertex is probably the longest um, thing and the diffi most difficult thing to do in this kind of graphing. So let's practice on being able to find a vertex. So the first thing you want to do is to label your A, B, and your C. So A is going to be a half, B is a 2, and C is a 1. So the first thing you're going to do is X equals negative B over 2A. So I'm going to have negative 2 for negative b over 2 times my a was a half. And then we're going to simplify the top to get negative 2. And then 2 times a half is just a 1. So this is going to equal negative 2. So in our vertex, our x is going to be a negative 2. But now I have to substitute this negative 2 back up there and over here into our equation. So I'm going to do that down here. So I'm going to have 1 half, and then it wants me to substitute in an x. So I'm going to put parentheses negative 2 squared, and continue plus 2. And then it wants you to input another x value, so negative 2, and then continue with plus 1. Okay. So all you're doing is taking this negative 2x value and plugging it in everywhere you see an x, which will be in two places. So then you're going to type this in the calculator. All right, so I'm going to do that with you. And so we're going to type 1 half. And then parentheses, negative 2. Close it. The squared button is right here. Um, plus 2, parentheses, negative 2, parentheses, plus 2. 1. So our y value is a negative 1. And there's our vertex. Okay. So again, you're going to substitute that x value into your equation to find your vertex. So let's try this one over here. So my a is a negative 1, b is a negative 2, and c is a negative 3. So I'm going to do x equals negative b over 2a. So x is going to equal negative negative 2. So anytime your b is negative and you say negative negative, that's going to actually become a positive. Um, but let me continue this over to a, which was negative 1. And so we will get negative 2 on bottom. And 2 divided by negative 2 is a negative 1. So I found that part of my vertex, but now I'm going to plug in negative 1 everywhere I see an x up here. So I would start with negative 1, parentheses, and my x value is a negative 1 squared. Minus 2 wants me to plug in a negative 1 again, and then subtract 3. Okay, so now I'm going to pull up my calculator again. And I'm going to type this in. So negative 1, parentheses, negative 1 squared, minus 2, parentheses, negative 1, and then subtract 3. 
So negative 2 is my output, so that is the y part of your vertex. So again, a lot of work to find the vertex, but once you find it, um, graphing is going to be easier. Okay, so let's go back to graphing now. So what do you do once you have a vertex, basically? So here is an example. Um, some questions, is it going to open up or down? Since you look at this number right here, which is a 1, and it's positive, it's going to open up. This number on the end is your y-intercept, so remember at 0, 8, or you could just say the y-intercept is an 8. Um, to find the vertex, again, you're going to use x equals negative b over 2a. So let me do that over here. a is a 1, b is a negative 4, and c is an 8. So I'm going to say x equals negative, negative 4, because my b was already negative, over 2 times a, which was a 1. So two negatives are going to give me a positive, which is 2. So the x point of my vertex is a 2. But now I'm going to substitute in, into the x, and into the x. So I'm going to have 1 parentheses, 2 squared, minus 4 parentheses, 2, plus 8. So if I were to type that in the calculator, I'm going to do it in my head right now. Uh, 2 squared is 4, and then 4 times 2 is 8. Bring down that plus 8, and I know negative 8 plus 8 is a 0. So you can either, again, type that on the calculator or do it by hand. So the y part of your vertex is a 4. Again, axis of symmetry is always the x equals the x part of your vertex. Domain, again, is always all real numbers. In the range, since our graph is opening up, we're going to have y is greater than or equal to the y part of your vertex, which is a 4. So now what we're going to do is graph this. So your vertex is the most important thing, which is a 2, 4. So let me go ahead and write this down here. Our vertex is a 2, 4. Let me plot it. So over 2, up 4. Whoops. So once you've got your vertex, remember this whole over 1, 2, 3, and 4. Remember the generic is 1 squared, which is 1, 2 squared, which is 4, 3 squared, which is 9, and 4 squared, which is 16. So we're actually going to go back to using this. Okay. So again, I'm going to go, since our A was a 1, none of this is going to change. And so I'm just going to go over 1, up 1 on both sides. I'm going to go over 2, up 4, and that's all I can do on this graph. Okay, so once you plot your vertex, you are going to continue to use this um, transformation chart. And the good thing is notice how um, our y-intercept was an 8, and this graph did in fact cross the y-axis at an 8. Okay, all right, let's take a look at when a is a negative and see how that changes the graph. So... If this number is negative, that does mean it's going to open downward. Um, your y-intercept is at the end. So again, we can write that 0, negative 3, or negative 3. Um, vertex, again, you're going to use x equals negative b over 2a. So my a was a negative 2, b was a negative 4, and c was a negative 3. So I'm going to start with x equals negative negative 4, because our b was already negative, and then 2 times my a, which is a negative 2. So again, 2 negatives is a positive on top, and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, which will give us a negative 1. So the x part of our vertex is a negative 1. To find the y part, again, you're going to have to substitute it in for our x's there and there. So I'm going to start off with negative 2 parentheses and substitute negative 1 in, squared, minus 4, substitute negative 1 in again, and then take away 3. So in our calculator, let's do that. So I'm going to start with the negative 2, parentheses negative 1, parentheses squared, minus 4, parentheses negative 1, and then subtract 3. So negative 1 is our y 
part because all that information equaled negative 1. So now the axis of symmetry is always going to be x equals um, your y value, which was a negative 1. Domain is always all real numbers. And then the range, since our graph is opening down, since this number was negative out front, is going to be less than or equal to, again, the y part of your vertex. So now I'm going to graph my vertex of negative 1, negative 1 on this graph down here, which would be right here. Okay. So now, remember these numbers are always 1, 4, 9, and 16. But what's going to happen is the A is going to change this. So I need to look at our A which was a negative 2. So what that means is I need to multiply all those numbers by a negative 2. So instead of going over 1, up 1, I'm going to go over 1, down 2, negative 8, negative 18, and that should be enough. So I'm going to go over 1 and down 2. So over 1, down 2. And I'm going to do it on the other side as well. So again, notice that our y-intercept was a negative 3 when I crossed, and that was totally true up here. But I'm going to go over 2 and down 8 to continue. Then go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And let me go over on that side too. Okay, so that is how you graph a quadratic um, in standard form when you've got a is not a 1. So you're going to multiply that a by this transformation, 1, 4, 9, 16, and that will tell you how to graph it. So let's do one more. We're going to look at when a is a negative 1 half. So again, since this is negative, it does mean it's going to open downward. And then your y-intercept is a negative 11, so 0, negative 11. To find the vertex, you're going to do negative b over 2a again. So again, that's probably one of the most important formulas um, you're going to need to use. So a is going to be negative 1 half, b is going to be a negative 4, and c is a negative 11. So x equals negative b, so negative negative 4, over 2 times negative 1 half. So negative negative 4 is a positive 4, and 2 times a half is 1, so negative 1 in this case. And then when you divide those, you would get a negative 4. So negative 4 is the x part of your vertex, but you're going to have to substitute that in for your x's. So we would start with negative 1 half, and then substitute negative 4 in, squared. Take away 4, and again, plug in negative 4, and then subtract 11. And for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that this is going to be a negative 3. So that is the y part of our vertex. Again, axis of symmetry is always x equals your x-coordinate. Domain is all real numbers. Range is going to be less than or equal to because it's opening downward, and then you're going to have your y part of your vertex. So now it's time to graph the vertex, which is at a negative 4, negative 3, and then this a equaling a negative 1 half is going to change our normal numbers of a 1, 4, 9, and 16. So you're going to times those by a negative half. to get your shift. So this is going to be negative a half, this is going to be negative 2, negative 4.5, and negative 8. So I'm going to go over 1 and down a half, so maybe like this. Then I'm going to go over 2, down 2. Then I'm going to go over 3, down 4 and a half. Okay, and then draw your U shape. So that is how you graph um, a parabola in standard form. Thank you for watching.